Good morning and welcome back to City Line. With me, I have a delightful individual. Um, we've been talking about everything from stilettos to broken ankles. And so now it's time to move on to what's happening with our Tacoma City Theaters. Please join me in welcoming the effervescent Kylie Palmer, Senior Manager of Marketing and Event Strategy for Tacoma City Theaters. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having me again. It's good to have yeah, you, my nice dear. To be here. And let's first off, wow. So those of us who have been in Tacoma for a long time, we understand the history of Tacoma theaters. But for some people who have just moved here and maybe only been here for a couple of years, when we say Tacoma City Theaters, they might go, what theaters are those? I'm confused. So can you, Miss mm -hmm. Gorgeous, once <laughs> and for all, can you clarify the venues, the history, just give us the whole 411. Whole spell. Great. So Tacoma City Theatres is part of the downtown Tacoma Historical Theatre District. The flagship crown jewel is the Pentagus. Oof. From 2000, renovated in 2018, built in 1918, a stunning, stunning, oh, yeah. beautiful theatre. Uh, Rialto Theatre, a block away, which was built the same year, renovated in early 90s and uh, completely different style, but just as fun. The acoustics are great. In the same block, we have Theatre on the Square, which just turned 30. That's a 300-seat theatre, intimate, uh, big stage, but toddler. great for singer, songwriter. Yeah, it's a little baby one. It's a baby one. Little baby to one. the other, other A little baby yes. one. And then in amongst all of that, we have Black Box Studios. So we hold receptions and little yes. shows, podcasts, NPR we've done there, things like that. that the um, Grand Cinema little, does their VIP They there. do some things with us. Yeah, yeah. so it's uh, all a block of historic theatres. It's, that's thank you, thank you yeah. for it's cut. It's a trinity. Isn't yes, it, it is. Kind of yes, is in there. Or, that's well, right. You said four, so we'll well, give three a and some studios. That's and a little, it. Little corner. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I have seen, and you have to, I think, be living in the dark if you haven't known that you are halfway through a very busy performing arts season right now. So what have been some of the highlights so far? Because you do this all the time. So when your head gets turned. We know it's something special. Yeah, so we just, well, I guess it's now March, but we went through an incredible holiday season. Yes. Welcoming thousands of people downtown every weekend with multiple shows. All theatres were really busy. Um, the Nutcracker from Tacoma City Ballet yes. celebrated their 40th anniversary of performing The Nutcracker. Congratulations. They had, yeah, they had five almost all sold out shows, uh, which was incredible. It was me. just thousands and thousands of families and kids dressed up in tutus. It was fantastic. Uh, we go from that to comedy. Uh, we just had Kathy Griffin here for a sold out show a few weeks ago. So comedy is uh, incredible. It's selling out multiple shows, multiple nights a week. Uh, and then uh, we've done some fun things over the holidays. We did holiday pet picks. It's become our new tradition where people can come into the lobby uh, just before Christmas. They come in dressed up the same as their pet and we give them free photos that they can then uh, like take that. out, take home. So. Uh, we cover a big range of events, community and, and, and performing arts. And, and the little military kid in me um, loves it when the military bands perform during the holiday season. Tree, like, yep. It just gives me chills yeah. because it's like oh, the lights are beautiful and so are yeah. the band members and so is the music. Yeah, I think this we just did our maybe 76th yep. tree lighting, so we're coming up. Uh, it must be about 77 or 78 this year. Oh, my gosh. Um, so it's going to be really exciting. It'll again be the Saturday after Thanksgiving. The relationships that have been formed and the relationships that are sustained so we get to view these beautiful mm -hmm. events and artists is just, it's, it's beyond reproach. Mm -hmm. There are some exciting things coming up yes. now because today is Thursday, yes. March 14th. It is, yes. So... Tell us what we can expect in these next few weeks. Next Give few us weeks. a hit. Fantastic. Uh, so we are extremely excited to be presenting Martin Barr, who is the legendary guitarist from Jethro Tull, a progressive rock band from the 60s. Uh, they sold more than 60 million albums. He's performed with Phil Collins, Paul McCartney. He's going to be at the Rialto this Saturday, and we're incredibly excited. And I think he sent us a special message on video oh, let's listen um, to, to play. Let's see what he has to say. This is Martin Barr. It's, uh... We have, a, as always, a special show for you. We change it every year, and this will be very, very different to the ones you've heard before. What will we do? Rialto Theatre, Tacoma. Look forward to seeing you there. 
Wow, nothing yeah. like having a picture of yourself in your prime <laughs> for everybody to look at. Exactly. Well, he spent about six months uh, getting the set list ready. Wow. Uh, so it's just going to be a fun night. It's going to be a big multimedia experience. He's got some amazing people performing with him. Uh, and he'll be showing some video of the highlight of 50 years of Tull. So I'm really excited. And it is Thursday, the 14th of March. So if you are watching this today, uh, tonight from 7 p.m., we'll be at the Busybody Bar. We're doing a record pre-party with Busybody and with High Voltage Records. Yay. And uh, if you come and see me there tonight and buy a ticket, I'll give you a little drink voucher to spend at the show. So Very it's, nice. uh, it's a, just a fun night. And, you know, it's a way for us to involve local business in what is happening in downtown. Exactly. So we take Je we take Martin Barr mm -hmm. from Jethro Toll, mm -hmm. and then we spin the globe we and we end up on, boom, Step Africa. Step Africa. That's another show we're presenting. Uh, next weekend, I think we have four shows in a row, some multi-day. Um, this one is also a really exciting event. So they're the world's uh, first professional oh, company dedicated God. to STEP, which is a way of uh, moving your body and high vibrant and creating music. Uh, and it fuses African-American stepping with uh, traditional Western and Southern African dancing. Oh. Uh, so it's going to be really fun. It's a great show. It's a Sunday at 3 p.m. Perfect for the family to come. Uh, and um, I think it's just me vibrant energy audience participation yes so I, i'm pretty sure we get to get up and do a little bit of dancing at some point in the theater uh, and we also have a video from them just to give you a little teaser of what it's going to be like i love that let's go ahead and click it. there it is Wow. Extremely exciting. High energy. I'm perfect. Like, okay, if that isn't the perfect like segue into a Sunday and the rest of the week, exactly. I don't know what Get you is. excited. Get you wow. excited for Monday. So there are just two of them coming up. We also have a lot of comedy. Um, Colin Joss from Saturday Night Live is coming. Yes. Daniel Sloss, which I'm looking forward to. He's a Scottish comedian and uh, I've seen him perform uh, in Australia. He's a lot of fun. He has some Netflix specials up. Uh, we have Jason Bonham, who is the son of John Bonham, Led yes. Zeppelin drummer. He just opened New Year's Eve for Heart at Climate Pledge Arena. Wow. And we're getting him to Tacoma, which is super, super exciting for all of us. So uh, we have an amazing array of activity. Um, and then we also have our resident arts organizations. So we have eight organizations that call the theaters their performing arts home. Uh, and they still have a jam-packed season to go, um, including Storybook Ballet with an afternoon tea from yes. Tacoma City Ballet. Uh, Tacoma Youth Symphony Association is farewelling their musical director after nearly 30 years, Dr. Cobbs, and his farewell concert is coming oh, up. Like so all the alumni is attending, having yes. photos with him. It's going to be a really special event. Uh, Tacoma Concert Band, may the 4th be with you on the appropriate date. Well, well I'll tell you what, <laughs> Gerard Morris and I know. Morris Norcutt, <laughs> those two are good trouble. Exactly, <laughs> they're fantastic. We work yeah. with some really fun people, so yeah. um, they still have an amazing season uh, to go as well, and it's our privilege to host them at the venues. Oh my gosh, and yeah. Dr. Cobbs, well, I'll tell you what, if there ever was someone who deserves uh, the Tacoma Award, he, he is the one I would put in there. Let's talk about, um, people may not know that you can rent some beautiful theater space for a private event. Tell us how we go about yeah, doing Yeah, we're a little quieter in summer, but um, we do rent the spaces out. So you can have your wedding, your birthday party, your corporate event, your Christmas party for your work. Uh, in our venues, we have a bunch of stages. Uh, we have black box studios that we can dress up. I mean, if it's good enough for Dolly Parton to do a meet and greet in, I'm you pretty sure what? we can make it beautiful for your function as well. <laughs> that, that phrase, if it's good enough for Dolly Parton, you, what could you not I use know. that we can, in? We can make it really special for you, and so what, they're available. And, and what a better way to know what they look like then take a tour yes and then plan your event based upon the tour exactly so over summer we're reopening our tours we can purchase a ticket you can also buy a group to come in and we'll give you some food some snacks and walk around uh, we'll take you through the history of the building we'll go in um, back rooms the rooms that the artists see then you'll also go into the super secret areas that yes. not even the artists get to go into in the sub basement uh, you'll learn about the history maybe you'll see one of the ghosts there I don't know, maybe, a couple yes. of the ghosts there. 
And uh, it's a really fun way. So keep an eye on our website. We're about to launch um, our next range of dates that you can choose from. I love that. So we've been showing the website uh, below your beautiful face here so people can <laughs> get more information of, of even what's happening in the fall. Mm -hmm. Last um, 40 seconds or so, who do we need to thank? Because like I said, you have deep relationships in this yeah, community. Yeah, we are well supported by the community. Um, we It makes us incredibly happy to have people come and the theaters are back. They're alive. Yep. They're pumping. So people who buy tickets, who support their resident arts organizations. But I also want to give a big shout out to our stage crew and our staff. We're a small team. Uh, we work really hard. That They do such a great job. And uh, it's such a privilege to work with such professionals in providing an amazing space that people can come and use. Absolutely. And, you know, speaking of your team, we had Tony Gomez on a little, little earlier. And in addition to being an amazing team, many of your team members are also artists themselves. And what a beautiful balance that's provided there for people to thrive, but also find a place where they can work and be home. Thank you so much for all that you, you do and all the people that we couldn't get on the couch yeah. <laughs> that are making this season happen. Thank you. And I can't wait to have you back. Such a privilege to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Looks like we've got some uh, people in the Comfort Cafe. Could that absolutely be Beyond the Bell and Green Trike? I think that's it. We'll be right back after this quick break.